Okay, so how did I create the voice of Dora the Explorer? Spoiler alert, I didn't. <laughs> that was my voice at seven years old. Um, I'm sure it sounded more animated and a lot more high pitched, but that was my voice. I mean, my voice you can hear right now, it's, it's normally a higher, I mean, it is a higher pitched voice. Yeah, at seven, that was my voice. So it's crazy to think, you know, when people imitate the Dora voice, they're imitating the voice of Kathleen Hurless when she was seven years old. As I got older, it did take a lot more effort to maintain the Dora voice, but ultimately seven-year-old Kathleen, her voice is still in here. <laughs> um, if any of you out there have ever met me in person and have asked me to do the voice of Dora, I most likely asked you to cover your eyes and to picture, to cover or close your eyes and to picture Dora in your mind. And then once I knew that you weren't peeking, um, I would do the voice and then people would like freak out or cry. The kids crying always got me. I just, I was like, I'm so sorry. Um, but I don't know, I, I guess as a kid, it made more sense to me for people to close their eyes and picture Dora and not just look at me and hear the voice coming out. I don't know, just to me, it didn't seem like it would connect. Um, but also I was a shy kid, so could have been both. So that was just a little backstory, a little history of the voice of Dora the Explorer. All I can say for right now is thank you for watching. We couldn't have done it without you. Thanks for helping.